Okay. <laughs> I only get married once, and so just just hang out for a second. <laughs> As you know, when I am faced with life decisions, big or small, I often come from a place of uncertainty. Yet over the past year and a half, you have taught me how to live in love rather than live in fear. How could I ever repay you? Or show you what you have shown me? I never imagined that this kind of man would stand in front of me. Ever since the first day we met, your smile just lit up my life. I see the beauty of Christ whenever you smile. In summer, you're just as bad. <laughs> you have a fire that cannot be quenched. And I hope that every day somebody can experience the kind of love that you two have to give. You are special, alone. You are unique, alone. But you are everything together. I've always felt that Summer needed an equal, a person who let her be herself without any apologies. And being her friend, I had high standards of who I thought she should be with. I remember one night, Summer and I went to dinner, and we had a very long conversation about her life and what she hoped for in a man. At the end of the conversation, you could tell she was thinking it might not happen. And she was a little frustrated, but she was hopeful nonetheless. And it wasn't but a couple months later that Cole came along. And that's when everything changed. Today I take my best friend's hand <laughs> and make her my beautiful wife. You always ask me, how do you know it's me? My answer has never changed. Summer, you are my home. I find peace when I'm with you. I have never shared the laughs, the tears, the joys of life with anyone ever, like I have with you. I truly believe you entered my life at a perfect time. I was stumbling around, lost, looking for answers in all the wrong places. Little did I know the greatest blessing I would receive was a beautiful woman who was less than 10 minutes away my entire life. The first time I met Cole, I was um, at the buckle. I had just been talking to a co-worker earlier about the kind of woman that I like. Oh my gosh, look at wow. you. That's gorgeous. Look at this. And this uh, girl walks in, I was like, what's her name? And he goes, I don't know, but she definitely fits the description what you were talking about the other day. I'm shopping and I noticed Cole and he's um, cute, of course, but he looked familiar the whole time. So I beelined over to the cash register and I tried to find out her name. I'm like, you look really familiar. And he was like, you do too. And I'm like, where are you from? And he goes, Waynesville. I'm like, shut up. She said, you look familiar too. What's your name? And I said, Cole Foster. She goes, oh my gosh. I gotta have that last name. We have to get married. We have to get married, actually. We have to get married. And that was the first thing I said to him. And he goes, yes, we have to. It's the best last name I've ever known. I've always loved Foster. It's a very strong name. I knew that Cole was right for Summer when he told a mutual friend of ours a few weeks after they started dating, this is it. She's the one I'm serious. This is it. She's it. Summer Shea Rivard. I vow that when the sun comes up, I will hold you with love so strong and tall. <laughs> so strong and tall that God himself will feel it. I vow to always dance slow and twirl you around in slow circles and let each note of the song touch your heart. I vow that dancing in the rain is never an option but a must. I vow that I will always hold you with my left hand and Jesus with my right. 
You have shown me a life that I never thought I would get to experience. A man who prays for me and makes me feel beautiful daily. You have stood by me in my darkest moments and never let your love for me falter. You continue to choose joy in situations that I'm incapable of handling. I vow that I will encourage you and always leave a shoulder open for you to rest your head. I vow to leave time for a drive to the river, for time to read with you, for coffee on the porch, and always leave time for a karaoke car drive. I promise to always allow you to wear my sandals even though you stretch them out. <laughs> I promise to let you play Clash in bed even when I desperately need you to listen to me. <laughs> I promise to not yell at you when you steal every single charger that I own. I promise to not get angry when you steal my chapstick. I basically promise to realize that everything I own is now yours. <laughs> I promise to always pray to have eyes that see the best in people and have a heart that forgives the worst. I promise to have a mind that forgets the bad and a soul that never loses faith in our state. I hope the two of you have found your best friend because that's going to help carry you down the road. I believe you have. I believe you found your best friend, both of you. The way that you receive and respond to Summer is something that is so amazing to me. I will never question that Summer is where she is supposed to be and who she's supposed to be with. I've never seen a couple more in sync, whether it's bursting out in the song together or putting Splenda in salsa, which I still think is super disgusting. <laughs> the two of you have been infinitely blessed to find each other, and there's literally not a more perfect couple. By the authority vested in me, by the state of Missouri, having been ordained by Stonebrook Church, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh! Can we kiss? Go ahead. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Cole Foster, everybody. I vow that what I can't, Jesus can. Summer Shea Rivard, I vow that when the sun goes down, I will hold you with love so strong and tall that God himself will feel it. 